I spoke with Sam Louie, a psychotherapist. He is the author of Spoken, Not Broken, a poetry collection on Asian American identity, shame, and trauma. And I asked him about work-life balance and the specific challenges for young Chinese moms. I think one of the biggest challenges when it comes to work life is parenting because I'm a parent, you're a parent, and parenting is one of the most difficult, challenging, vexing uh, jobs out there. And you only know what you've received and or what you've learned in terms of the environment you grew up in. So if you grew up in a more traditional Asian or Asian American household, you may have learned that one way to parent is more of the tiger parent, tiger mom style, which in therapeutic terms, we call it an authoritarian parenting style where you're submitting to the authority, blind submission, you're not allowed to ask questions, and a lot of the authoritarian um, parenting is based on shaming a child, punishing a child, either verbally, or with physical beatings to some to some degree. So I think with the work-life balance that you're you're raising is a lot of millennial parents are recognizing that's not exactly the way they want their children to experience life. So what would you say is the parenting style for millennial, especially millennial Chinese moms uh, who are raised by tiger parents? What's the approach that we're seeing now? Well, I think regardless of ethnicity, we all want our children to quote unquote do well, to succeed. And I think the biggest question we have to ask ourselves as parents is how do we define success? So if we start there, that can help in terms of a parent recognizing what parenting style would work best. Because as a therapist, as a parent, um, as somebody who just really cares about the Asian community, I believe success is instilling a sense of emotional well-being, emotional health, and helping children really develop the natural skills and talents that they uh, have within themselves. So I know that there's this book that came out recently where panda parenting um, is a new term. Um, the book was titled How to Raise Successful People, Simple Lessons for Radical Results. And the author mentions, yes, she still has high expectations, just like tiger moms. But unlike tiger moms, there's a lot of praise. There's a lot of emotional nurturing. And maybe one of the key differences with tiger parenting, where parents are the ones who are dictating and leading, when it comes to panda parenting or maybe a softer approach, parents act more as guides. And the children lead to a certain degree. How? Is education and uh, travel experiences, how is that playing a role in how kids, you're trying to raise your kids today? I mean, you want your kids to have the best education possible, to do well in school, but have you noticed any changes there uh, generationally? I believe so. We live in a very global world now. It's a smaller world. People are traveling. Uh, Westerners are going to China. Chinese are being exposed, mainland Chinese that are being exposed to other lifestyles, other ways of living. And key to this is other ways of parenting. Myself, um, I'm first generation from Hong Kong. And when I moved to South Seattle at a young age, I met other parents, a lot of them African-American, other Asians too. So I was able to see the differences like, wait, why do African-American parents do this? Like there's a lot of a physical affection, a lot of praise, a lot of I love you's. And like, this is not quote unquote normal in the Asian household, but I really like that level of encouragement. And I'm wondering if that could be helpful um, in a, it, it, when I grow up in, in, in and am a parent. Have you noticed a shift in, in within uh, the Asian community uh, in terms of parenting style? And can we yes. can we can we see it shift again? Uh, possibly. I think we're already seeing a big shift. I was just walking in my neighborhood, and I, it's so normative to see men, Asian men, ethnic men, holding their children 
in their hands, whereas maybe you're, I don't remember ever my dad holding my hand because that was just not considered masculine. Uh, we didn't really understood, understand the implications of physical touch and verbal praise. So we're seeing a lot of that now um, in terms of Asian American parents, a lot of verbal praise, a lot of shifting in terms of maybe too much so when it comes to helicopter parent. We care so much about their uh, future that we don't give them enough room to breathe. So this other concept of panda parenting, if you will, of allowing children to lead and parents acting as a guide, I think is a nice balance.